and welcome to a new tutorial. FL Studio comes with a bunch of templates you can choose from. But of course you can add your own ones to the list. So let's get first the technical process out of the way. And in a second video we come to a few ideas what perhaps makes sense to include into your own templates. You can load any pre-installed template via the file menu. In this menu they are separated into several categories which again are nothing else than a simple folder structure on your hard drive, which you can find in the FL Studio installation folder under Data – Templates. Please do not save any of your own creations over these existing ones, as they will be overwritten with every new installation of FL Studio, which would destroy all of your work you invested in this template. You can load any template like a normal project, as they are nothing else than regular FL Studio project files, or in short, FLP. If we make hidden items visible, there are for every template info files with the same name. Opening such an info, it shows two lines. As the names already reveal, you can use them as a description for your template and an icon which appear in the list under the file menu. Adding info files for your own templates is an option, but it isn't mandatory. It works fine without them too. If you want to make use out of them, you have to follow the same syntax shown in the pre-installed ones. Description without any spaces and equal sign is necessary. But then you can add a text to your heart's desire. Menu icon index, equal sign, a minus sign and the corresponding number, all without any spaces. These menu icons are the same you find for example in the naming options and some clever people have already done the work and collected the correct numbers for the individual icons, which you can find for example in the Loop Talk forum. I put the link in the description. Here we can find the same beatbox icon with the number 111 like used in the info file and shown in the file menu. So for example changing this number to 5 shows now a kick drum as an icon. Perhaps you have already noticed that the folder structure on the hard drive isn't reflected the same way in the file menu. In the advanced category we have the project files in subfolders electronic and instrumental, which aren't shown in the file menu. In the category minimal, every single template lives in a separate folder, which aren't shown either in the menu. FL Studio ignores the folder which directly includes the project files. This means putting a template directly in the template folder, or just one level deeper, it shows up directly in the main tree. If you want to categorize your templates like it is done with the for example advanced or minimal templates, there have to be at least two folders in the template folder before you can put the project file. Let's try this out by saving a bunch of new templates. For the sake of demonstration, I just used the empty template without any changes and resave it in different ways. If you have loaded a template by starting FL Studio or by loading one via the file menu, no matter if you hit save or save as, it shows always the same window. Depending if you have already saved projects or not, you have either to navigate to your user library, FL Studio projects, or FL Studio points you already to this folder where you find a template folder by default. Inside this template folder I save my first own template by giving it a name and saving it. I hit now save as, as the normal save would just overwrite the same file. Create now a folder my templates, give it a new name and save it like this. New templates aren't visible in the menu until you restart FL Studio. By doing so I now got my two saved templates. As you can see, no matter if I put the second one into its own folder, they both appear in the main tree of the menu. Let's try it again, but creating one folder level more. So save as, my templates, I create a new folder which I could basically name however I like. 
I would recommend to give it the same name as the template file afterwards, that you can identify the correct folder directly from one level above. Name the file and save it. After restarting the program, I got now a new category my templates in the list. Inside my third attempt. I can go as deep as I like. To complete our options, I add now an info file to the third template. To avoid any mistakes, I just copy over one of the pre-installed and change its name to the same name like the template. Inside of the file, I change the content and restart FL Studio. And there it is, my own template, named, categorized and described the way I want it. If you want to change the template FL Studio starts with, there are two ways to open the Write Options tab. In New from Template, you can choose the bottom command, Change Default Template. Or if you already know that it's located in the Generals tab, you can open it directly from the Options menu or just hit F10 on your keyboard and change the tab. On the bottom right, you find two drop-down menus. The lower one gives you three options how FL Studios shall behave on startup. Starting with an empty project, with the default template, or with the last used project, which makes sense if you work continuously on the same one. By default, it's set to the default template, which we can define in the upper menu. Inside here, you find the same list like under the file menu and you can choose the wished one by clicking on the entry. In the next video, we will have a look at a few ideas what could make sense to include into your own templates, that you've got the right tools at hand for a new project right from the start. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.